Greetings, YouTube. Maybe you can see me. No, that might be a little too bright. Yeah, that's definitely too bright. Hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, so yeah, the uh, the thumbnail. Bury your guns. Uh, I say no. Yes, I agree. Not not to keep all your preps or in this case firearms in one place. I agree with that. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. And a lot of people use different strategies on that. I use the 70-30 rule because I'm a bunker, you know, I'm a guy that's going to bunker in. But you have to have that place to fall back to, okay? You can't you can't just go without that. You, you have to have the BOL or you ha I mean, you have to plan ahead. Yes, I plan on keeping 70% of my firearms accessible right here from my home. But the other 30% bug out location or any other ways you want to store it. But I would not bury it. You need quicker access to your firearms. Uh, I would not bury them. There are other ways that I store my guns off-site. We'll talk about that some. But I would not... But Now, I'll bury ammo. I have ammo in caches. That I do. But I, I'd refuse to bury uh, something I may have to grab quickly. Uh, or if I'm having to fall back to my BOL, I need them accessible quickly. You just don't never know. That's something you have to prepare for. I... Uh, for me, uh, uh, and uh, but just let me say this: I live in a very rural area. I would say probably two to three families, or two to three households per square mile. Very, very rural here. Okay. Now let me state that first. Uh, I'm no by no means any kind of expert. This is just what I do. This is my opinion, this is just what I do. This is what Farmer Son does, okay. Uh, yes, I keep firearms in bug out locations. Yes, I keep firearms in other uh, off homes, off grid sites as well. Uh, so okay, let's talk about it. How do I store my firearms without them being at home or at the bug out location? couple of different ways we have some areas around our property that are covered with kudzu those of you who live in the south know what kudzu is it gets thick in the summertime and um, I have places where uh, it's you know soggy bottom muddy looking ground all the time you know, once you get through the kudzu, then there's leaves all over the ground. You know, you could store a weapon on the ground without having to bury it. There are cases, uh, you, you know, expensive gun cases that are waterproof. Uh, so, you know, they're, you know, $160 on up. Let me just say they are expensive. Like your, uh, well, y'all know the name brand. I'm not going to say it. But, uh, so yes, I store guns that way. I have uh, bicycle locks, cable locks with the little uh, numbers on them. You have to open them with like a combination lock. I use those. Put them around the tree. Put them through both handles on that case. Leave them on the ground. Cover, you know, uh, cover that case up. Uh, with leaves and pine straw or whatever and it's in that thicket of kudzu that's one way I do it another way I do it uh, and let me show you these this is a uh, cheap Walmart gun case this particular one is a shotgun case okay but if you look for these they have a uh, they have a little holder up here on the pointy end where the barrel goes uh, I think it's to keep the barrel from coming out 
of the, you know, to shoving through the material. Uh, but there's a rubber cap right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's a rubber cap, and then you've got this loop right here. Now, these are not waterproof. Okay. But you can waterproof them, okay, with petroleum jelly. Just like my hiking boots, I have hiking boots that I'll use petroleum jelly, and I will fill that fabric, pack that fabric up, or that leather on my hiking boots, and it will waterproof them. You can do the same with these cheaper cases. It's time consuming. You'll go through quite a bit of this stuff here. But then, once you get it waterproof, you would also, you know, pack the little zipper where the zipper strip is, pack that in real good. And you can waterproof one of these super cheap cases. And then guess what? Hang this baby up in a tree, just like this. High in a tree. You say, well, you know, farmer son, how do I get up high in a tree? A couple of ways. You can use a slingshot and a heavy weight tied to some fishing line. You know, anybody that's ever put up a, a radio antenna can tell you how to get up in a tree. Uh, that's us ham people. We know all about, all about that. But yeah, use your slingshot. You could use a bow and arrow. You could do that. I've done that too. Uh, a lot of people gar fish. Get that gar rig you got that you love so much. Shoot it over a big tall limb on a pine tree or whatever tree you got uh, available. Pull it up there and the top of the tree. This is camouflage, okay? And uh, nobody's gonna think to look in the top of a tree. Hide your rope. Hide your rope real good. That's one way I do it. That's another way I do it. That's the second way. So yeah, uh, you can take this material here. You would take this, get you a hand load, pack it in this material, fill every little hole in this material. It's time consuming, I'm telling you. But this is a cheap way. You can waterproof these cheap cases. Uh, pack your zipper once you get everything inside that you want inside. Pack your zipper up with this stuff too. Okay? And for all intents and purposes, it's waterproof. It's going to be heavy. You ain't going to want to tote it very far, I'll tell you that. Because it's packed with all this petroleum jelly. But it is essentially waterproof, okay? So... I know there's going to be haters, so I ain't no way in the world I'd do that to to put my gun in that right there. Well, you know what? To each his own. This is just how, one of the ways that I do it. I use the hard cases uh, with the seal around them. I'm not going to say the name brand. Everybody knows which name brand I'm talking about. They're very, very expensive. Uh, there are cheaper brands on Amazon. I think Ilar is one of them. But, uh, they're, you know, they're, you know, even the cheap ones are $160 on up, so. Uh, but, yeah, that's two ways that I can store my guns. Uh, they're not at the bug out location. They're on the way to the bug out location, but they're not buried. I have pretty quick access to them. And, yes, I would, uh, I would use the 70-30 rule. I keep 70% of my firearms and ammunition in my home because I'm a bug in or bunker down kind of guy. But you have to have that fallback. You have to have that place to where if it gets so hot here at the house that we have to abandon, you got to have something to fall back on. Uh, John at Prepper Nation was talking about caches this morning. I think that's what kind of got this particular subject in my mind so thank you john uh for the idea uh this is not caches but this is uh the subject of burying guns i say no uh guns or something or firearms or something you want to be able to get to quick uh youtube may end up cutting this thing because i said the g word but uh whatever y'all know what i'm talking about pew pews okay so uh would I bury a gun? No. If you bury a gun, you are dooming yourself to probably go to jail or, uh, or to die from gunshot wound, in my opinion. 
Uh, so I would not bury my firearms. Now look, I, I realize it's completely different out there uh, in the urban areas. You're, you're, you're on your own. you got to figure out your own way. Y'all, I appreciate you watching. This video is 10 minutes already. A lot of information uh, I wanted to get out here. But th these are the ways I do it. Again, just my opinion. Smash the thumbs up, y'all. Appreciate that. Appreciate uh, all the new subscribers. We've had quite a, a few this week. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you watching. Just some ideas, y'all. Just some ideas. These cheap cases are, you know, anywhere from 7 to 12 bucks at Walmart. And uh, you can use what I use and do it the way I do it. Or you can do your own way. Everybody has their own way. That's the independent prepper spirit. I love that. So, uh, be a blessing to somebody today. Go prep something today. Uh, and stay cool. It's hot out here, y'all, in Alabama. It's hot. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to bring this to the community. Uh, or, uh, so, I'll shut up now. This is Farmer Son Prepping. Y'all have a blessed day. Still going? Okay.